guys, I hope you're all doing very well. It's finally weekend and as always, I'm here with a brand new deck guide. But before we begin, I finally finished my studies for now. I now have a degree in psychology and I am planning on doing my masters abroad next year. I'm looking at places like Europe and Canada, maybe America. If any of you have really cool suggestions for a masters in psychology, um, yeah, uh, mention it in the comments and I will definitely look it up. Um, I have been playing around with quite a bit of decks this last week. I have streamed 10 hours yesterday because I have nothing else to do now. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. Um, I didn't really like a lot of the meta decks and then I tried Syndicate for the first time since these cards were released and my gosh, we won almost every single game. It was so much fun. I don't know if it's whether people don't know how Syndicate works or whether Syndicate is just so good. Um, I'm not over exaggerating. I had so much fun playing this deck today and I can't wait to show you how it works. Maybe I'll include four videos just because. Um, Alright, and before we get to the deck, this is the final sponsored YouTube video by LG's hashtag Spot of Triumph. It was great working with them. I hope you guys enjoyed it yourself. We had a weekly giveaway of a gaming monitor and we are now at the final challenge, the creative challenge that will take place on the 21st of November. That is a day after this video is going live. If you want to take part, you can register. The grand prize for this final challenge is going to be a 55 inch class 4K smart TV. This is the final prize from LG and it's quite a big one. So if you want to compete, you can register in the description below. All you have to do is go into creative mode and you have to make the LG logo. The best submission will win the prize. I will include the video for this at the end of my YouTube video. And if you want to, you can forward and you can watch it. But for now, let's get back to this jackpot deck. Okay, so I know a lot of you don't necessarily play Syndicate, especially if some of you are returning to Gwent or you are beginners. Do not fret, I will walk you through this. If you are an experienced player, you can just go ahead and forward to the games and watch how we massacre our opponents. So firstly, we start off with our stratagem, the Tiger's Eye. It gives you five coins. This is pretty nice because obviously the entirety of Syndicate revolves around coins. We use coins to generate points and it's quite a nice and very unique uh, mechanic. So next up we have the jackpot leader ability. Now you could potentially get a different leader ability if it suits your needs more. I went for the jackpot ability. What this does is it gives me nine coins whenever I need it. Now, if you already have coins, the extra coins that you get, seeing that you have a limit of nine coins in your pocket, you will be able to boost a unit by that extra amount of coins. So let's say you already have five coins, you press your leader ability, you get nine coins, and you will have the accumulated extra five coins converted to five points. So you won't waste anything essentially. So now what makes this really nice is that when a card gives you coins and you already have the maximum of nine coins in your pocket, those coins will be converted to points. So this goes very nicely with cards like our tax collector. So the tax collector will give you one coin every turn. And when you reach nine coins, instead he'll start boosting himself by one point every turn because of our leader ability. So this is a very nice engine and it assures that you'll get points even if you pass and you reach the limit of nine coins in your pocket. Now some of our engines also go very nicely in round one. Some of them are the Passiflora Peaches. These have a Horde 4 ability, meaning that if you have four coins in your pocket, this will trigger and at the end of every turn, it will boost itself by one. So already you have the Tax Collector giving you one point every turn and the Passiflora Peaches giving you one point every turn. So now we have a lot of other ways to accumulate coins. We also have some thinning cards we wanna place in round one so we can thin the deck of garbage. So the Mutants Maker is pretty nice. If you deploy it, it will destroy an allied unit and give you three coins. But if you are a devotion, which we are, you will just get three coins and you won't have to destroy a card. So you play the Mutants Maker for four points and you get three coins as well. This is pretty nice. You also have cards like the Sewer Raiders. Now the Sewer Raiders are also meant to thin your deck. So if you have four coins, it will trigger the Horde 4 ability and it will summon all copies of this unit from your deck. 
So obviously you want to have one of those in your hand and you want to have one of them in your deck so it can come out. Now, when we reach nine queens, in this deck specifically, we have a very nice card called the Flying Redanian. It has Horde 9, so it means you do have to have nine coins in your pocket and pass. So what will happen is this will come out of your deck onto your board, which is an extra three points. And if you have passed and this goes into the graveyard, it will come out again onto your board when you have nine coins again. So this is a pretty nice card, especially in a deck where you're basically guaranteed to get nine coins at some point. All right, and now let's take a look at our main archetype in this coin deck. Here we are going to make use of bounties and we're going to make use of control. So essentially we want to give our opponent's card bounty as many times as we can. And once we have done that, we want to kill the card and reap the benefits of bounty. So let's start with our basic bounty cards. First we have the Witch Hunter. So this will place a bounty on an enemy unit. What you normally want to do is you want to target uh, an enemy unit that you know you can kill. So if you're going for the big finale move, then you're going to target the biggest enemy unit there is. And then you can play a card like Raiden. So Graydon will destroy an enemy unit with a bounty, no matter how big the card is. Just keep in mind that card can't have Veil, because if it has Veil, the bounty won't go onto the card. So just be careful. Now, remember how bounty works is, if you kill a card with bounty, you get the coins for that card's base power. So let's say we gave bounty for a card that's worth 5 points. If you kill it, you will get 5 coins. But... If the card is 5, as Graydon is 3, and it's boosted, you will still only get 5 coins, because it's the base power of the card, not the value of the card. So if Graydon is, let's say, 3 points, and he has a bounty, and you kill him, you get 3 coins. If he's boosted to 20 points, and you kill him, you still get 3 coins, because he's only 3 points. You can always right-click on a card, and you can see its real value, even after it's boosted. Just... A little tip for any beginners who are watching this video. So keep that in mind. Now with Graydon he has tribute 5 meaning if you are prepared to pay 5 coins he will boost himself by the unit space power. So not only will you get the coins for killing the bounty card he will also boost himself by that amount. So choose carefully but all in all Graydon is a great finisher and he can get rid of pretty big units. Now last thing I have to mention Jackpot means that whenever a card has more coins than it produces, that card will give you points instead. Now, if you use a bounty on an enemy's card and you kill that card and your pocket is already full, jackpot isn't going to work because you don't have a card that is producing that amount of coins, like the tax collector, for example, that is 100% responsible for making a coin every turn. If you end up killing another card with bounty, then that's not going to work. So be careful. When you use bounty, you have to calculate accordingly and make sure that you don't accidentally overspend. Okay, now we also have the Witch Hunter Executioner. He has profit two, meaning when you play him, he gets two coins. And he has a fee of one, meaning you can use his ability every time you give a coin. So every time you give a coin, he will give an enemy unit bleeding for one turn. But if it has bounty, it will damage it by one instead. Now, obviously, we want to use this when a card has bounty, preferably. Because if you give a card bounty, you can immediately use the Witch Hunter Executioner and kill the card and get the coins back. So this is a great engine. We have two of those because they are bronze. Now, we also have Horse on Freak Show. This is an unconditional control card. You don't have to have bounty on a card to use it. He works simply by playing him in the melee row. He gives you two coins. He damages an enemy by two every time you pay two coins. So this is more valuable. It's pretty strong. And it's a very nice control card to wipe your opponent's side of the board. All right. Now we also have our big witch finder. This is a pretty amazing card. Uh, your opponent will try and get rid of it. What she does is she will give you three syndicate crowns, which is three coins essentially, but it takes the form of this artifact. So this will pop onto the board and you can use it whenever you want to. 
It's pretty cool because essentially your pocket has a maximum limit of nine coins. This gives you the opportunity of having three extra on the board. So you have 12 coins to your disposal, which is pretty strong. So what will happen is at the end of every turn, the witch finder will give the biggest enemy units a bounty. So this is pretty nice, but remember, she will only do it when there is no bounty on the board already. So let's say she gives a 13 point Igern a bounty. If you don't kill Igern, she's not going to do it again. So you have to be careful. Uh, the goal with the witch finder is to have enough coins on your uh, person and you also want to have a control card on the board so you can immediately get rid of those cards. So witch finder can give bounty every single turn and you can just reap the benefits. You also want to give bounty as much as possible because we're going to get to the brute which gives you a reward for doing that. So with the witch finder she will give a bounty to the largest unit. Keep in mind, sometimes the largest unit has Veil, like Melusine. So she will constantly try to give Melusine bounty, and Melusine will not get bounty. So you kind of have to kill Melusine, or you have to hold on to the Witch Finder before you can use her. Alright, now we also have Professor. Professor is a pretty cool card. He puts a bounty on an enemy unit and damages it by 4. He also has a tribute ability of 3, meaning if you're prepared to pay 3 coins, he will ignore the card's armor. Normally it's not necessary, but you might have a, a great opportunity where a card has armor but is only worth 4 points, and then you can use the tribute ability as well as Professor. Okay, and then we have our big finisher, the Brute. Now, this is a really, really cool card. The art is amazing, very dark. The Brute works as follows. He's an immediate 6 points off the bat. Now, whenever you place a bounty on an enemy unit, he will increase the profit he gives you by 1 point. Right now he is on 0 profit. So, let's say Witchfinder gives bounty to a card every single turn. If you play well, she will. Then you will accumulate 1 profit for the Brute every single time. This is why we want to play him at the end of the game, when he is at his most valuable point. So let's say you've given uh, loads of bounties out during the game and you get a profit of 7 perhaps. So when you play the Brute, he will then have 6 points himself and you will get 7 coins that you can use. Now he has a second part to what he does which is cool as well. Now he will boost himself with the amount of the base power of the last card he destroyed. So the last card you destroy with bounty, that is the amount he will boost himself with and then you get the profit of the accumulated bounties you gave out. So if the last card you destroyed had a base power of 6, like the brute, you will get a boost of 6 points when you play the brute, so he will play for 12 points and then you'll get all your profits. So this is a very valuable card, pretty strong. You have to look out for this if you're playing against Syndicate. You preferably want last say, so you can deal with the Brute with something like Yennefer if you're playing Northguard. But yeah, pretty strong card. Uh, definitely make use of it if you can. Alright, and now for some of our last cards. We have Horson Jr., pretty strong control card. He will damage an enemy by 6 points. Uh, he, we have Devotion, so it doesn't have to be a boosted enemy, it will be any enemy. Then you gain a coin for every excess point of damage dealt. If the card was worth 4 points, then you will get 2 extra coins to make up for the 6 points you would have had. And with a fee of 3, you can destroy an enemy unit with 3 power or less, which is pretty cool. So if any card is 3 or less power, you can pay 3 coins and quickly kill them. Now he also has insanity. Meaning, even if you don't have coins, three coins that is, he can at least once kill a card of three or less by damaging himself with three points. So instead of using three coins, he will damage himself by three points. It's an interesting thing that some syndicate cards do. They have insanity, meaning they will just damage themselves by the amount of coins you would have spent. All right. Then we have a Valdi Bank. This is our little tutor we have in Syndicate. You begin with a profit of three coins. Now, that adds on to the coins you already have in your pocket. You will then look at the top card from your deck plus an additional card for every coin you possess. So if you have uh, six coins, you will look at seven cards. If you only have seven cards left in your deck, you will get to choose any one of them. 
You have to calculate it precisely because you might miss your card if you don't have enough coins. You will uh, play the top card for free or you will play another card for a coin cost equal to its distance from the top. So they will show you the cards in order. If you choose the first card, you will get all of the coins you just got from the Valdi Bank as well as what you currently have. If you have to play the second card, because it's a better card maybe, you will pay one coin to do so. If your best card is on the bottom of the entire deck, you will end up paying all of your coins in order to play that card. So how closer it is to the left, the better it is for your coin value. So choose wisely. And then lastly, we have Kurt. Now Kurt can place a bounty on an enemy unit, which is great. He can also purify a unit, which is awesome. So you can purify a defender, or if somebody places a bounty on your card, you can purify it. Uh, a lock is also something we have to deal with. So if we need to, we can purify one of our engines if it gets locked. Okay, and then the last two cards I want to show you. The one is the Coerced Blacksmith. This gives you a profit of two. And for one fee, you can boost an allied unit by one. So if your cards are going to get killed, you can use this to buff it up so it isn't within killing range. And we also have our Sea Jackal. This is a great spender because how it works is it has a hoard ability of seven. So if you have seven coins in your pocket, instead of boosting himself by two points for every two coins, he will boost himself by three, which is great value. So you want to use the Sea Jackal when you have nine coins and when you have seven coins. And then you want to boost it up to nine coins again and do the same as much as you can. Anything less than that just trades for one coin per point. So yes, I am excited to show you guys how this deck works. Sorry for all the complicated terminology I used. Syndicate is normally the most difficult faction to learn if you're still a beginner. Northgard being second, I would say. Uh, though this deck is really fun to play, you should give it a shot. It's not as difficult as it sounds. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you at the end of the video. But will anybody bring Syndicate? And monsters? If they bring monsters, it will have to be Arachas. Lord Triss made it to the Masters, right? Lord Triss always brings Arachas. Are you casting next Masters? We are yet to see. We are yet to see. Um... But still, I'm curious. Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> killed the pixie. I need to shut up, I'm sorry. Arachas go brr, ah, that would be amazing. And tunnel drill is now dead, of course. Um, okay, so we are on blue coin, we need to win. Our hand is not amazing. Nope, nope. It's worse now. It's substantially worse. <laughs> it's fine. Kill yeah, the pixie? Gonna yeah. Monsters and Syndicate years. are gonna be overwhelming. Are gonna be overwhelming. Curiosity killed the cat, but you're a wolf's in a worries. Yes. It's, it's all good. You got a sea base swimming in them breaches. Overwhelming masters. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, my gosh, this Wang ID thing is causing a lot of drama. Did you guys hear? hear my I keep looking Tell up and there's right. more and more drama coming from it. Um, yeah, it's uh, interesting. Very interesting. And now the uh, Gwent Steam page is being downvoted like crazy. I don't think I need to overcommit here, it would be unnecessary. Is he playing Melusine? Maybe. Uh, let's go for the Mutant Maker. I should have played that in the melee row. <laughs> okay. Hermit. Okay, so this is an uh, old school uh, Melusine like deck, yes? Old school Melusine. Uh, at the end of your turn, if there's rain on the opposite row, boost the unit to the right by one. If there's storm... No, okay, I didn't need to do that. Bounty would have been nice. Alas, I do not have bounty. I do, but I won't be using it. Port 4. Ah, long ships are overrated. Yeah, what's with those downwards? I've seen a post about it, but I'm kind of out of the loop. 
Yeah, okay, so what happened was um, CDPR uh, found that Wang ID was apparently um, win trading by allowing his uh, his watchers on his stream to forfeit against him, and he didn't report it. And so they sort of disqualified him from the Masters by detracting some MMR. And now uh, it appears as if this is becoming a China versus CDPR thing. And now the entire Steam page is being downvoted. Uh, and CDPR has been called a Nazi company. And the most weirdest things... Uh, it doesn't make sense because CDPR is very woke very work um I, I sort of feel like i should bounty mm. the of righteousness do not scorch the innocent. yeah this is messed up yeah it was so random it's so random old school deck old school as in two months ago so work they botched cyberpunk that that did happen Little half room. World War Three? No, hopefully not. <laughs> oh, wait for the best buyers. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Yay! Uh, uh yeah, it's probably good enough. He still has six points on him. We just have to take that into account. Uh, he can still get ahead easily, I'd say. We can wait. Another little half rue. Ooh. Ooh, you know what would have been really nice? Getting a bounty on one of these. Damn. Okay. Hmm. I could pass. I could pass. Is this something I do? I probably do not. No. And keep this on four and yes. The thing is, he's likely playing Melusine, so he can afford to play it now. The thing is, I can't do much with that. I don't have tour removal other than Graydon. Freya's blessing. Permit. Mark not the creeds of others, but neither for life nor sin. Okay. Do I start committing? Is that that's the question? And Melusine does have veil, I think. I do think Melusine has veil, so that's not ideal. Okay, this is sort of my one of my last cards I can actually use to kill other cards, except for Horson. How the hell to get rid of her without something like a Yeet Wave? That's a good question. Evil's not going anywhere. I'm hoping his hand is bricked. Exactly. Um, I heard yesterday about a Chinese tennis player who disappeared. Yeah, I heard about that. That is super messy. Every deck with devotion is more or less screwed against her. Mm. I mean, that happens. Uh, what happens? The Chinese thing. Uh, did you hear about that guy who's like a billionaire in China? who criticized the government, and I genuinely think he hasn't been found yet. I think it's been months. <laughs> like, genuinely, I think it's been months. This is just one of the richest people in China. Just gone. He isn't... He isn't... Uh, he's Pepsi'd, I think. Yeah, we'll say Pepsi'd. I feel like this is an excellent hand. I also think I might have to go for a 2-0 here. Yep, let's go for it. 
Oh, Dude in power in China don't like critics? No. <laughs> no, no. Look, n most countries have serious problems, let's be honest. Some countries' problems are just a bit more serious. No, I'm kidding. Uh, it's the thing is I can criticize my government, but they're not competent enough to find me and get rid of me without anybody knowing But yeah, there it's efficient Scary Aren't you a little confused about the Gwen cards and Thronebreaker Gwent? No, no, I'm okay. I'm okay uh, I think I first need to play Horse Sun and actually do this. Yeah. I wanted to play Graydon, but I would have gotten too many coins. Wee. Wee. Um, I could I could wipe the board. I feel like I don't have to yet. Let's do this. For reasons. Then I can kill it with Horus Sun if I need to spin coins. Politicians in the US are trying to replicate Chinese governmental policies. Here we have conflicts in two governments. The I knew he had medicine. Mm. Sneaky sneaky. How dare you? It would be a pity if I used Horus Sun. Oh, I'm finally having fun again. <laughs> this is so nice. Um, one, two, do that, do that, nice, uh, do, th no, I need bounty at least on one card. In China they are coming for you even before you say the bad thing, yet people still say the bad thing. It's in it says a lot, it's... It's clearly conflict between the people and the government, and they're worth like they, they actually risk getting into trouble, which is admirable. Fukushima into another defender. <laughs> oh no, okay. Fair, fair. Do I ever pass now? Or is it a bit too late? Chinese government also track messages. Like, our governments don't do that. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Spender, Witch Hunter, and access to tribute. I want to say this is likely the best outcome. It has to be, right? This is probably the best. I probably shouldn't get greedy. Lead us across wave crest. Lead us through storms. The north was Every government do that? Yeah, let's not pretend all governments aren't a bit screwy, right? It does have veil. Can't do much about that. Can't do much about that. Melee, destroy an enemy unit with a bounty, tribute fire, boost up by the unit's base power. I'd probably just go with this, I'd say. Um... Augusta and Augusta. 
Yep. Okay. Let's not give him cards to kill. Gothing slash. Hell yes. Okay, I think we win. <laughs> I think we win. Um, what do we go for next? Sea jackal? Or is it a bit? Is it a bit much? Okay. Worst case scenario. Shebet, what is the worst case scenario? <laughs> Let's do it. One man's battlefield is another man's ripe patch for harvest. Wee! Chinese government using Orwell. Oh, George Orwell, I love him. I still need to Rick. Uh, Rick. I still need to read his one book. Um. Uh, what is it? 1984? I do have the book. Part of the sea in two. Uh, she's gonna get the Sigdrifos right. Nice. I mean, that's a pretty strong combo, let's be honest. Tuya. Tuya. The Valdi Bank in two. It's gonna have to be the Brute, right? Six. Uh, profit five. Boost up by four. It has to be the Brute. I haven't played this card yet, so I need to figure out how it works. Don't think, just do. Hell yeah. Hey guys! We've got a new deck, man. That's exciting. Oh, finally. But I don't know. It's almost too easy, right? But that's just my opinion. Uh, the leader is just too easy because again you can just get it um, you you don't have to plan ahead you just have the thing ready to go I still feel like it has to be a card that's my only opinion you would build up a leader but let's see mm, I get that uh, it depends it depends how OP it is for sure it shouldn't be a given it should be hard to use the leader and if it pay if it pays off it pays off well right I'm um, going first, so this hand is okay. It's not bad. I think we keep it. We are playing against Novgorod after all. In this world, only two things are certain. Lightmaker. No good wine will come from here, not even come. Now, luckily, a lot of my cards he can't actually use, which is nice. He can't just make Witchfinder and get value out of it, unless he actually makes all the other necessary bronzes. Any diamonds for little old me? Absurdly toxic for two to eight weeks and then nerfed into oblivion. 50-50. No! Damn it. Visible mutation, rough skin, vertical pupils, horns. AMK, thanks for the follow. Hello from Russia. Privet. Privet. Slice of Dactress. Problematic. A little bit problematic. Our pyres will light up the north. So we are in blue coin and already behind, which isn't great. Oh no. All these signs can mean but one thing. Mm. Damn, I think we might have to pass, but I didn't like that idea very much. I don't want to overcommit. Think you can keep up with the novel red last? No. <laughs> He's already going for a simulate. Grr. Yeah, there's no way we're catching up here. There just isn't. Uh, unless, unless, unless I keep pushing him. The thing is, he just easily gets ahead, in my opinion. Don't trouble yourself with please. 
for mercy. Are you playing Witcher 3 on Steam or GOG? GOG, um, because I'm partnered with GOG, they actually just gave me the entire Witcher 3 uh, game as well as the DLCs. So I'm definitely playing it on GOG. Uh, that was not very kind of them. Deals, deals. Novigrad's built on deals. Blue coin is a nightmare? Yeah. It sure is. I'm the owner of GOG. <laughs> I wish. Ooh, that was a bad bribery. Oh, it's still off. Screw it. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. RT Fiction, thanks for the follow. Oh, I obviously pass here. If I can. game it's it's not always that fun playing against Northgard because you constantly have to figure out if they're gonna steal your card and if they're gonna play it better than you do <laughs> so you have to be careful unfortunately nap sleep repeat things of the follow uh, it's gonna have to be the sea jackal Ooh, I like though this can die uh, Noise, noise. Okay, push me. <laughs> Go for it. I know the truth. I oh, he's going for the two. Her. Interesting. I sort of prefer this, if I'm gonna be honest. I sort of prefer this. Because I was dreading the longer round. Maybe you should have boosted that. Unless you're afraid of Graydon. Okay, let's go. Uh, do we do we go for the high roll though? What do you think? Do we go for a little high roll? Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it. <laughs> Knowledge is a weapon of great power. Noise. My favorite faction is Nilfgaard. The soldier army is pretty sweet as well. Hey, Nilfgaard isn't bad. I haven't seen soldiers in a while. T Arta Terranova and two professor. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe he gets anything though. Money does not help you, boy. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Four plus. Yeah, that's enough. I 
Hell yes. 100% win rate. <laughs> yes, I'm changing my title to say 100% win rate. <laughs> we always have to do that. It's the rules. Field is another man's ripe patch for harvest. It felt like a throw. Yeah, for some reason they feared my long round, whereas I feared their long rounds. So they have not yet played Yennefer, they likely have Yennefer. Um, so we need to keep in mind... Oh, that's a very sad coup. Okay, if they have Yennefer, we do win, so this isn't a problem. Evil's not going anywhere. Nice. GG. Okay, NR. I'm not really a guest with arms widespread. Yeah, well, it is what it is. Okay, we are on red coin. We do. We could push now because we're on red coin. We do not need two sea jackals. I'd say this is a pretty good round one hand. I love stupid ideas, lol. <laughs> oh. Originally, I saw on YouTube someone named someone's name was i'm not really a cauliflower and their profile pic was a no cauliflower course, I said. The and i thought it was the most funny thing i've ever seen it's like we know you're not a cauliflower sir Corporations are people too. it's not an actual yes maybe raffert I love the song in the background. I'll give them two days. So I quickly kill this with Horus Sun. Oh no. Do I ever play the Witch Finder? Oh, this does nothing now. Ship it. I can't get rid of it. I can only damage it by six points. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, I cannot kill it. I'm gonna have to just get coins and get out, I guess. Unfortunately, transformation robs them of I only recently found out that the Witcher has a card game. I really like Hearthstone at the moment, but only the auto chess mode battlegrounds. Yeah, uh, Gwent is a great standalone game, honestly. I was really excited when I heard it first came out. Play slow. I mean, we're getting a lot out of him. But I don't like the fact that this card is building. We might have to kill it. It's just... I don't... I don't know if I want to use Horror Sun yet. Uh, we could go for Passiflora Peaches so long, I guess. If I come back as an animal, I would be one of those mind-controlling parasites. <laughs> Interesting. Who would you like to mind control? Letitia. See, this is where it gets very dangerous. Power, unfettered, corrupts both body and mind. Uh, not a fan. Not a fan. Uh, I might have to get rid of the Bonnard student. <laughs> Slow, ain't ya? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Letitia, the problem is they keep playing. Folks say we live like princesses. Only they knew. If only they knew. Do I keep on playing? I feel like they keep on playing anyway. A uh, Jotun, good morning. Let me play a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, use that spell that. We have to get them at least under four cards. 
anyone who gives you the wrong look. That's fair. But if you're a literal parasite, though, Hello, we warm up with a fire people might give you a weird look. No, I do not like this very much. Um, my only hope here is to win on even and bleed him for everything he has. I'd say. One man's battlefield is another man's right patch for harvest. Yeah, I think we just have to win on even. That's our best shot. They are not gonna pass before clicking Letitia anyway, I know. But he's still not on the four cards, so I don't really get anything out of it. He, All he'd have done is he'd have played until four cards passed, and then he'd go into a long round with ten cards. Which isn't ideal. I do think I'm prepared to commit most. I would have played the Witchfinder by now if not for Vale. So I'll do it. Do you think that eight provision cost is fine for her? Uh, I, uh, she has a lot of setting up to do. Mm, don't like that. It's not always easy to pull her off. I shouldn't have given this bleeding, that was stupid of me. I'm wasted a point. Perhaps a different degree. An active one. Two points. I wasted two points. Hands. Our hands. Our hands. Of course. Damn sorceress. Yeah, this music is in game. Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you had a nice stream. And thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you doing? Need to pass? I really want to win on even. I really want to win on even. I feel like I can just bleed him for everything he has and then end with Brute and still win. Syndicate only theme, I switched for a Regus one and had no idea. Time for a practice. I mean, I do get ahead with my Witchfinder and I think I will end up playing the Witchfinder. Yeah, it's necessary. Okay, I, I think we played this correctly, to be fair. I don't think there was a other way to do it. Um, the all we can do now is bleed him for everything he has. That should do the trick. Let's just hope we actually get some nice cards to do it with. Uh, 
Maybe this is too much. That's bitter. Okay. If the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. Stream went well, thank you. Going to eat something, have a nice stream. No problem, you too. Enjoy. This location played by Inar was so wrong. I agree with you. Yes. The thing is, I'm not planning on playing my last card necessarily, so I spent it on Sea Jackal, but with Horse on Freak Show, I could maybe have gotten rid of another card. He should have Zeal by now. Uh, Gimkana, thank you for the follow. Uh, he already has an Aratusa student at 7 and by now student at 5, so he has Zeal. If he played Alumni, I wouldn't have been able to get rid of them beforehand. Missed the point? Missed the point. You wasted one point. Hmm. We have each other's backs. That's more than most. Mm. How? What do you mean? How did I waste the point? You had to click Jackal first. Oh, because of the uh, horde ability. Got you. You think I should Zveno? What if I get a crappy card? Will bring me no joy satisfaction. Oh, yes. I'm a chicken. <laughs> sure. Be glad to. Oh, I could have won. Another test. No, no, I couldn't because he, he has zeal. He would have used that and it has what? Eight points? Eight points. No, this was the right move. Yes, I should. Uh, you're right. I, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to use the sea jackal. That's the problem. But you are correct, sir. You are very correct. Now, this is what I call a graden target. My goodness. Profit zero? <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, this is a six point card currently. That's hardly worth it. No, boost off by zero. Boost is equal to the base power of the lost destroyed enemy unit with the bounty. Um... Boost self by zero. Boost is equal to the base power of the lost destroyed enemy unit with a bounty. Oh. Interesting. He didn't even use it. Hey, Radio Dragon. My duty. Nice sound, yeah. I'm going to increase my chances. Evil's not going anywhere. I regret doing that. He might have Anzis, and he kills my spender. What if I draw Graydon? The thing is, I want to increase my chances of drawing Graydon. That's what I'm going for. Because now I have a far better chance of doing so.
See, I wouldn't have gotten it. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. I think we understand how it works. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So, it boosts itself by the last card you killed. The profit is something entirely different. Money, 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 money. Yes. 